It appears that the guns have fallen silent finally um, from a long night of shooting in the main barracks, army barracks in the capital, Juba. A lot of people who had sought refuge in a uh, Catholic church and a compound of the UN mission in South Sudan are now starting to return to their places. We don't know the casualties. We just had a few people who were wounded or injured. Uh, but so far, it appears the situation is calm. And uh, as the president said earlier this afternoon, the situation is over and they're still investigating. But so far, that is how the picture looks. And it's important, isn't it, that he appeared in military uniform, not in his civilian clothes, trying to give that impression that he's got control. I think it's very clear this was a military situation. The, 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 the fighting in the, in the camp, in the main barracks, was an indication that the political situation had moved to the barracks and the escalation of months of political unrest had produced what the government is saying, an attempted coup linked to the now sacked vice president of the country, Riek Machar, who had had months of a dispute with the president over the upcoming elections in 2015. But so far, it is clear that the situation appears to be in control. But there are questions about how long this will last and what will mean in terms of the instability or attempts to stabilize this young democracy, this young country of South Sudan. And Moses, I know it's hard to get information outside the capital and we'll talk about that later on impact. But are you hearing anything about the situation outside Juba? Most of this was sort of confined to the capital, Juba. We've not had any reports of unrest or anything outside the capital, Juba. But of course, as you would understand, these ethnic and political divisions which mirror the whole the situation across the country. So in, even though this was just sort of within the capital itself and not any reports emerging from outside the capital, we're not ruling out the possibility that there could be other issues in terms of possible unrest cascading down to other parts of the country.